Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Z here at Pink Wars Hero. Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. So this month, the readings are going to be a little different. Um, I'm going to be posting them within the course of like two to three days. Um, first, I'm starting off with the monthly general readings. And of course, once I get done with all of the signs, just um, be looking out for like the general monthly love readings. So yeah. Um, if you were, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is just email me or, um, you can send me a, me a DM on Instagram. That's fine too. But all of my info is listed down in, in the description box below, um, as well as for my social media information. So let's see, of course, I'm going to pull the overall energy for you guys. We're going to pull the overall energy. And then at the end of the reading, I'll pull an oracle card to close out the reading. So let's see. What's the overall energy for Libras? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020. What's the overall energy for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the overall energy for a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? okay so we got emotional withdrawal so this is basically like the eight of cups so for some of you guys you could be walking away from a situation here yeah a lot of movement here i feel like you could be like reaching for something new or like you you're wanting something new here um with this card right here at the bottom of the day it's like a hand it's basically the five of pentacles but let's see what's going on here. Why is this emotional withdrawal here for Libras? What is going on? Why is emotional withdrawal here? Why is emotional withdrawal here for Libra? Ooh. I don't know why I'm thinking about like an ATM or like a, it's like, you know how you go to the ATM and it's like you're withdrawing money, right? But it's like, okay, if you keep withdrawing money and you're not looking at your, um, like how much you got as a balance, like if you don't put your stuff on a budget, then you're going to be, you're going to, um, overdraw or what is it? Overdraft, depending on what type of bank you got, they're going to charge you. And it's like, you're going to be in a negative for some of you guys. I feel like you're needing to deposit money like i'm just using it as like an example because it's like how i feel right now so it's like you're needing to make more deposits than withdrawing because it's like you keep um taking money out of the bank account this could be money um you know emotions or whatever however you want to put it but it's like okay if nobody's giving you anything or if you're not putting back and so it's like, what are you going to have? You, you're going to have nothing. It's like, you're going to be reaching for, um, for something. So let's see. I feel like for some of you guys, I haven't even really pulled cards yet, but it's how I feel off this one card. For some of you guys, it's like, um, you know, looking at this picture right here, it's like someone is like empty. It's almost like you feel empty or it's like you um, are walking away from something here that is like not serving you any good because this is basically the Eight of Cups. Why is the, um, why is the emotional withdrawal here for Libra? Why is emotional withdrawal here for Libra? Wow, the Five of Pentacles came out. Look, the Five of Pentacles right here at the bottom of the deck. For some of y'all, you need to move, um, move away from something here where it's like you feel, it's like you're lacking here in a situation. For some of y'all, you could actually be going through like a financial um, um, setback. But when I seen this emotional withdrawal, I just start feeling like a, I don't know, feeling like an ATM or like a, you know, you just go to the ATM and withdraw money. But it's like somebody's like doing it too much and they're not looking at their account or like what they have 
to offer. Like they're not, um, maybe you're not budgeting the right way. It's like you need to start making more deposits or start dealing with people who can deposit here or like give into a situation. For some of you guys, you could have had an ending here or it's just like something needs to change in regards to this situation. Tell me about this um, emotional withdrawal for Libra. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. For some of you guys, you need to... Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you need to um, block here. Some things that are not serving you any good here with the Seven of Wands. And I feel like with these uh, wands here, it's supposed to be people like at the bottom here. It's almost like people are like poking their sticks or their wands at this woman right here. Sorry, I didn't know I was out of frame, but you know, they're poking their sticks at her, but she's in her little glass bubble. For some of you guys, I feel like these people are like trying to get something from you, but it's like you don't have but, but that much to offer. It's like you can't let people keep taking from you it's like these people are not making any deposits here basically well the people at the bottom and i feel like that's going to be changing for you guys with the will of fortune card at the bottom of the deck so that's good here it's like you guys are just needing to walk away here tell me about emotional withdrawal for libra Tell me about emotional withdrawal. Yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like you need the strength here to move forward. I feel like you guys are overcoming here like a tough time. It could be emotionally here or also financially. But I feel like for some of you guys, you need to stand your ground. I feel like for some of you guys, you just need to say no. Like learn how to say no. Because that whole thing that I said about the um, ATM and about withdrawing, it's like you don't want to overdraft. You don't want that to happen because then you're going to get charged a fee that you don't want to pay. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to do that. I feel like for some of y'all, you could have made some type of sacrifice here too. With the hangman um, at the bottom of the deck. It's like maybe you've been making some sacrifices here. But I feel like you're overcoming it. Tell me about emotional withdrawal for Libra. Yeah, a lot of conflict here. But look, we got the six of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So just know that Libra, like once you, like you're going to win here over this conflict here. But I feel like for some of y'all, you could be dealing with like, not romantically, but it's just like, this could be people in your life here with this five of wands. Because these people are not, they're not um working as a team. Like they're against each other. Let's see. But it's like you're coming out here as the Six of Wands. So victory here. It's like you're getting a victory here over this emotional withdrawal. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Okay, this card is flu. Hold on. Okay, the Knight of Swords came out right here. So this could be you, Libra, or another person. For some of you guys, you could be wanting to rush toward something here. But also, too, I feel like for some of you guys, you need to speak your truth here. Because it's almost like, um, it's like you're going through this emotional withdrawal here, or you need to walk away. But you could be not saying anything. I feel like you need to speak speak your truth here, especially with this woman right here in the picture. Like she's not saying anything to these people down here that are poking at her little bubble. Like so, some some of you guys could be like keeping something inside instead of just saying it. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the earth sign. So it could be a Capricorn source or a Virgo. doesn't have to be. Or even a Leo too. 
with the seven of wands and the strength card. Why is the seven of wands here? Yeah, the tower. For some of you guys, you could have had a tower moment here. Something happened here unexpectedly here. Like I said, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with like multiple people. Not romantically. I mean, you could be. But it's just like um, different people in your life here. It's like they keep poking at your little bubble here. But it's like you're not saying anything. Um, some of these people could be from the past too. With the Six of Cups here. Why is the Strength card here? Yeah. Um, this Three of Swords just came out. For some of you guys, I feel like you're really, um, like you're dealing with some type of heartbreak or something that disappointed you here or like basically just something that hurt you with this three of swords i feel like you're trying to um overcome that like you're overcoming that and also healing from that situation and if it takes you just not saying anything to um anybody or just staying in your little bubble right here then that's fine i feel like for some years you just need to walk away from it I feel like this tower moment made you get into like a little bubble here or like withdraw emotionally here. For some of you guys, I feel like you could have your guard up too about um, new love as well. Why is the five of wands here? Why is this five of wands here? Why is this five of wands here? What's this? Yes. So the six of wands came out. Remember, this was at the bottom of the deck when the five of wands actually popped out. So just know that you're actually winning here, Libra, over this um this emotional draw or like whatever you need to walk away from. It's like you're moving forward here. Some of you guys could be manifesting new love too. What's the um the tower? What is this tower moment about for Libra? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm definitely seeing some type of big change here. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have Earth in your chart, but um, I also see it too where this tower moment for somebody, it's like it made you into a better person here. It's like you're actually okay. Like you're winning from this situation here. And I feel like you're moving towards your Ten of Cups too. Because look, the Wheel of Fortune card is right here at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Pentacles. So just know that like, if you feel like you're lacking or it's like maybe you feel like you don't have that much. Um, you could have even like overdrafted here in your bank account. That's going to be changing here. Or just know that, you know, it's a possibility for that to change. Because it's like you could be without nothing and your situation just changes like unexpectedly here. Let's see. So I'm going to pull an Oracle card for you guys. Give me one for Libra here for this spread. Give me one for Libra here for this spread, please. Libra, send me one. Send me cards. Give me one for Libra here for this spread. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give me one. Number 43, Deep Knowing. See, yeah, for some of you guys, you're, you're walking away here or withdrawing emotionally here or basically just walking away from a situation here. This could have been something or someone that you had some type of emotional bond with. Um, It's not for you. And that's okay if it's not for you. But I feel like you guys have a deep knowing for this situation here. It's like you know, like deep down inside you know that it's not for you. And I feel like whatever this is, it could be causing some type of conflict here. It could be internal conflict. 
but you're coming out victorious here over this situation see look chaos and conflict was right before right below not for you down so even though things could be i feel like other people around you are causing some type of chaos that's very unnecessary and i feel like for some of you guys you need to stand your ground or it's like that's needing to change here like for some of y'all, you just need to say stay no and figure out how you're gonna move forward here. So this could be about um any situation here, but whatever it is, it's like it's not for you. And that's okay. So I really hope that this message um or this reading resonates with someone. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.